Hi, I'm Mark Donovan from HomeEditionPlus.com, and today I'm going to show you how to wire a switch outlet combo circuit such that the outlet is controlled by the switch. Before beginning any wiring circuit, however, I want to make sure that you realize you need to turn off power to the main circuit breaker for the electrical boxes that you're going to be working with. Otherwise, you may risk the injury of shock or even death. So the first step we want to do when wiring up a switch outlet combo circuit is we want to bring power into the box. And I have 14-2 wire here that's coming into the bottom of the box. And I have another 14-2 uh, Romex type uh, cable coming in from the top of the box. This goes to feed the, uh, the light. Uh, what I've done is, first of all, I've twisted the grounds together, the bare copper wires, and I've attached a greenie, as they call it, a greenie wire nut, to uh, twist them together and made a loop at the end of the copper wire which will attach to the outlet uh, in a moment. Um, in addition, I have power that will connect to the outlet and I have a feeder that will go up to the light. Um, all of the return wires, uh, white wires, uh, the one wire coming from the uh, light, the one white wire that's coming from the power feed, um, and I also have a, a pigtail uh, wire that will connect to the outlet. So the first thing I'm doing is attaching the ground wire um, to the outlet fixture itself. Notice I've made a loop that's rotated in a clockwise direction so that when I tighten up the wire of the, the screw it snugs down onto the um, onto the uh, copper wire. The next wire I'm putting on is the black uh, line wire coming from the uh, Romex uh, power feed. And it's attaching to the brass uh, screw um, on the side of the um, um, switch itself. And again, we just tighten this up with this, tighten up the screw. On the other side of the switch outlet circuit, we're going to attach the uh, black wire that feeds the light switch itself, or feeds the light itself. And we're going to connect it to the other side of the switch outlet circuit. You can do either one. There's a tab that connects either terminal screw doesn't matter which one, we're going to pick the upper one. And again, notice I put the, um, the wire on such that it goes in a clockwise direction so that when I tighten up the screw, the wire wraps around the screw. So this, when you turn on the switch, power will flow from one side of the switch to the other and then feed power to the light. So the last thing I've had to do is I've had to um, tie together the return wires um, associated with the power Romex cable feed um, as well as the return wire uh, that's coming from the light source. Uh, in addition, I've attached a pigtail white wire such that I have to have one wire, wire um, wrapped around the silver screw associated with the switch outlet circuit. Again, we put that on a clockwise direction and tighten it up with our screw driver. So that's it for wiring the switch outlet. We now go up to the light. So up at the light fixture itself, we're going to take the black wire, which is the hot wire that's feeding electricity to one side of the light fixture. We're going to wrap it around the screw and then tighten it up. We're wrapping around the brass screw. And then I attach the white wire uh, to the silver screw. So now all we have to do is attach the light fixture to the box and the switch outlet to its box and we'll be ready to uh, give this a try. So now that we've attached the switch outlet to the electrical box and put a light bulb into our light fixture, we can give a quick test. And as you can see here, the switch outlet is now working. Uh, both the outlet and the light fixture itself are both controlled by the switch. So that's it for wiring a switch outlet combo circuit, such that the outlet is controlled by the switch. If you have other home improvement questions, visit us at homeeditionplus.com today.